Uh, my name is Kenny. I'm in ninth grade from Houston, Texas, and I'll be reciting the Eight Awakenings. Buddhist disciples at all times, day and night, sincerely recite and bear in mind these eight truths that causes great people to awaken. First awakening, countries are perilous and fragile. The body is the source of pain, ultimately empty. The five scandals are not the true self. Life and death are uh, a series of transformations, illusionary, unreal, uncontrollable. The antilla is a ter wellspring of turpitude. The body is a breeding ground of offenses. Um, investigate and cultivate these eight truths. Gradually break free from birth and death. Um, the second awakening. Too much desire brings pain. Um, birth and death are worse some ordeals. By lusting desires, we can quickly realize the truth and uh, enjoy peace, freedom, and health in body and mind. The third awakening. Our minds are never satisfied or content with enough. The more we obtain, the more we want. Thus, Bodhisattva Bodhisattvas do not want to make these mistakes. Uh, thus, they nurture. Um, thus, they cultivate. Thus, they choose to be content. They nurture the way and cultivate a life, cu cultivate a quiet life and uh, humble surroundings. Their sole occupations, uh, cultivating wisdom. The fourth awakening. Uh, idleness and indulgence are the downfall of people. Um, thus. Great people, uh, with unflagging vigor, great people break through their afflictions and baseness. They vanquish and defeat the four kinds of demons uh, and escape the prison of the five scandals. The fifth awakening, stupidity and ignorance are the causes of birth and death. Um, bodhisattvas apply to themselves and deeply appreciate the study and the erudition, constantly striving to expand their wisdom and refined elegance. Nothing brings them better joy than teaching and transforming living beings. The six awakenings. Suffering and poverty breeds deep resentment towards people. Um, wealth unevenly distributed causes ill will and conflict among others. Thus bodhisattvas practice sharing. They treat friends and foe alike. They do not harbor grudges or despise from moral people. The seventh awakening. The five desires are the source of offenses and grief. Great people, lady included, are not blinded by worldly pleasures. Thus, they aspire to don the three-piece precept robe and blessing bowl monastery life. Their ultimate ambition is to leave their home life and cultivate the path of impeccable purity. Their virtuous qualities are lofty and sublime. Their uh, attitudes towards creatures are kind and compassionate. The Eight Awakening, like a blazing inferno, uh, birth and death are plagued with... Uh, of suffering and afflictions. Great, uh, thus great people resolve to cultivate the great vehicle to rescue all living beings, to uh, endure hardship on behalf of others, and to uh, lead everyone to ultimate happiness. These are the eight truths that Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and great people awaken to. Once awakened, they continue to cultivate the path, steeping themselves in kindness and compassion. Uh, their Wisdom will grow. They sail the ship of they sail the Dharma ship across the Nirvana shore and enter the sea of birth and death to rescue all living beings. They use the eight truths to um, uh, show the proper course to for living beings, uh, causing them to realize the anguish of birth and death. They aspire to forsake all five desires and cultivate the mind of the manners of the sages. If you are a uh, if you're a Buddhist a Buddhist disciple that um, uh, recite these eight truths and ponder its meaning, they will certainly obtain the they will certainly eradicate boundless offenses, advance towards bodhi and quickly realize the proper enlightenment. They will um, be free from birth and death and um, in, uh, uh, um, reside in eternal bliss. You know what you fuck.